Hello. Today we're going to quickly discuss the review of systems, which is a list of questions organized by body system and used to evaluate the health of the patient. There are 14 recognized body systems that you may need to review at some point. Let's review what they are and then we'll look at some specific questions you can ask to review each. The 14 systems are constitutional, eyes, ears, nose, mouth, and throat, cardiovascular, respiratory, gastrointestinal, genital urinary, musculoskeletal, and tegumentary, which includes the skin or the breast, neurologic, psychiatric, endocrine, hematologic, lymphatic, and allergic or immunologic. Depending on the reason the patient is being seen, you will ask some or all of the questions in the review of systems. Here's a template that I've created, and I've uploaded the link below so that you can use it, with different questions you can ask for each system. You'll note that sometimes we ask some health maintenance questions here as well. For instance, under the review of systems of the throat, you can ask the patient when their last dental visit was. Usually during the health history, clinicians will ask questions about the systems affected by the disease or illness. Sometimes at annual or wellness visits, you can ask the patient questions from every system. Typically, there are three different types of review of systems. Problem pertinent, extended, and complete. Let's take Mr. Fred K. Aloha again, who you may recognize from previous lectures. As a reminder, you are seeing him for sore throat. The body system most likely affected is the ENT system, the ears, nose, and throat. If you ask him if he's had any trouble swallowing, any non-healing sores, dry mouth, or hoarseness, then you are asking a problem pertinent review of systems. The questions are only related to the system that the problem is in. An extended review of system asks those same questions, but also asks about related systems. For example, if you ask Mr. K. Aloha, do you have any fever, chills, sore, or swollen glands in your neck? In this example, you are asking about the throat, but also about constitutional symptoms and lymph nodes. An extended review of system reviews between two and nine body systems. If you're going to take a complete review of systems, then you would ask about all those areas we've already talked about and other systems as well. In order to qualify as a complete review of systems, you need to review a minimum of 10 different systems. Although a patient with a sore throat doesn't usually require a complete review of systems, he might if you have other complaints or comorbidities. If you asked and documented constitutional, no fever or chill, eyes, no watery eyes or conjunctivitis, ENT, no sore throat or congestion, cardiovascular, no chest pain or discomfort, respiratory, no shortness of breath or cough, GI, appetite good, denies heartburn, indigestion, nausea or vomiting, lymph node, denies tender or swollen lymph nodes or glands, skin, no diaphoresis or skin rashes, neurologic, no history of dysphagia, stroke or speech problems, psychiatric, patient denies memory loss or depression, then this could be a complete review of systems. For acute concerns, I recommend that you stick with an extended review of systems, which will help you narrow down the list of potential problems called a differential diagnosis. The complete review of systems can be reserved for complicated patients, wellness or annual examinations, or really vague patient complaints when you need to ask a lot of questions to try to figure out what is going on. Hopefully now you have a better idea of what review assistance is, what questions to ask, and when they need to be asked. And that's it for today. See you next week.